Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask in the world that we can find. And today we have found some masks at Walmart, the premier disposable dust mask with carbon filter. Let's put it in the clamp and see what happens. It's a very thick mask. It's crazy. Um, we, for the longest time, I could not find any masks at Walmart. The only masks I could find were the ones that they would hand to you when you're going through the door or going in the door. Let's see if I can get this to work. Ah, that worked. I love it. I think that would work. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about what we're doing here, I'm going to put a link up there. But the short answer is we are doing the American surgical mask test, which has a minimum standard of 95%. Premier, let's get at you. I want to look at the, I found it on the, uh, the old internet here. They, they're selling it on their website currently. It's got four reviews. Look out Walmart, or look out Amazon. Walmart's coming at you. Ooh, too soon. Uh, Premier paint roller dust mask. What the actual does that mean? <laughs> four layer carbon mask. If you've watched this before, and look, it is literally listed with other paint masks. If you watch this before, we talk about why four layer masks are not really a thing that you need. All right, let's open this up. These are all individually wrapped, which is really cool. What is this, 25 masks, less than a dollar a piece. That's pretty good. Open this up. This is a Taiwanese style mask with uh, the ear loops fold over. It makes them super strong. <laughs> Unless you do it wrong. This is the least strong ear loop I've ever used. <laughs> So what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to, you're supposed to fold this over here in the production process and do an extra layer of welding. And that usually makes these super strong, but whoever did this did not put it together very well. Sorry, Premier. Let's try it on. Let's try it on if I can get it to stay on without breaking. Your lips are actually nice. Super, super thick mask. It's so thick, the spun bond is so thick that I could, the nose wear is having a hard time. Oh, wow. If this mask has carbon in it, I, that's actually an interesting move because I cannot smell a thing. So the carbon just completely eliminates any smell. That's pretty cool. And then I want to do, I just want to break this guy open because I have these giant scissors sitting here. So might as well be using them. Okay. Got an outer layer of uh, spun bond polypropylene, which protects you from water. Then you have a black melt blown layer. Oh man, that's, this is the second time I've seen this. They're doing that for style. They want it to look good. But the problem is when you dye melt blown, you change its filtration properties. So this is a, this is melt blown. Melt blown is the part of the mask that protects you. It's actually the thing that would stop something like COVID coming through. Then you have a carbon layer. This is legitimately carbon. This is a good carbon layer. I've actually never seen this in a mask like this. And then you have spun bond on the outside. So in this case, the fourth layer is actually a thing. Like it's not just marketing. Typically they'll put two layers of spun bond, which does nothing. Um, what the mel what the uh, the carbon will do is, uh, I guess, make it smell better um, and make it harder to breathe. <laughs> so I'm not really sure if it's worth it, but at least that marketing sort of plays out. And remember, the minimum score in the United States is 95%, okay? Um, typically, any melt blown that's decent, and this is really thick melt blown, actually. There's no pinholes. It's pretty good melt blown. So a melt blown like this quality would do 99%. But remember, they added a dye to it just to make it look nice, which is a dumb reason. I think I'd rather be protected. I don't know. That's me. But let's see if it plays out. 80.180, 80.180. That is pretty horrible. And if I look at the, uh, the breathability, uh, 144 pascals. So that's, uh, that's you know, I, maximum I want to see is 150 pascals. So that's underneath that. Um, so that's there. Surprising with that extra carbon layer, it didn't make it harder to breathe. Still 80% just for a look. There are better black masks out there, and you can uh, you can buy them on Amazon if you want. Um, in fact, I'll, if you we have a link down below that links to all the masks we have tested, uh, and you can you can buy a much better mask on Amazon. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I, I appreciate your time and attention, and uh, we're running a little competition here, which I'll put details uh, right in that video link. Check it out. 
you could win something that's pretty interesting. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next test. Thank you so much.